the greatest Premier League defender of all time, Champions League winner, business mogul. I was sat by London Bridge near his office, rehearsing the pitch over and over again in my head. Hey, hey Rio. So Train Effective is this football app that we have and I want you to be a part of it. This meeting was months in the making. I was losing money. I was sleeping on the couch. I had to get this right. And now the time had finally come. This was the day that I pitched Rio Ferdinand. Would it end in success or a f disaster? The year was 2019 and I was a few years into building my startup company. At the time, we were building our startup project in a warehouse, converted warehouse in North London. Six, seven, sometimes 10 people in a five bedroom warehouse loft, living, breathing and sleeping our project. This was legit like that TV show, Silicon Valley. I was 25 years old and I had hustled and put like everything into this vision. So two years earlier, I'd actually quit my pretty prestigious Swiss banking job to go all in on this project full time with all the savings that I had. But by this point, two years later, my savings had pretty much run dry and something needed to change. As a teenager watching the Premier League, I'd see this guy, Rio Ferdinand, put his heart on his sleeve for Man United. He was teammates with Cristiano Ronaldo. He played under the greatest Premier League manager ever. He defended Messi. He played in World Cups, played in Champions Leagues, but he also understood business. This guy at the height of his playing career was launching restaurants and magazines. So here was someone that understood sports and business. So when I dreamt up Train Effective for a place where anyone could train like a pro anywhere, anytime and get access to elite coaching wherever they were, well, he was the one I wanted to get involved. And then the cold contacting started. I found the manager's email and I followed up, followed up, followed up until eventually I got a meeting. With the manager, I created all these elaborate decks, really nice elaborate designs, really going all into the presentation of it. Then after several meetings with his reps, Rio wanted to meet face to face. So now to get Rio to work with us would change everything. Fast forward a few months and I was in the office reception now, waiting for Rio, confident, but anxious and I waited and I waited and I waited. I had this big table to myself and I was just thinking, when is he gonna come? When has he just ghosted me? Was this just some sort of elaborate joke? Like, is this actually gonna happen? Am I just wasting my time? Like, yeah, dreams don't come true. But then about 20 minutes later, this guy opens the door, a tall, well-built guy with a luxe track suit and the cleanest, freshest white Nikes that you've ever seen. He walks in and he says, oh, hey, Nick. And I'm like, oh, hi, Rio, hey. And in my head, I'm like, whoa, that's Rio Ferdinand. Whoa, whoa, all right, snap out of it, Nick, snap out of it. And now here he was at the table with a few of his reps listening to what I had to say. He was just there for me and my pitch. And I took a deep inhale and for a good 10 to 15 minutes, I just tried to give the best pitch of my life. While I was giving the pitch, I just remember him sitting there and just like listening and just sort of being silent, like he wasn't saying anything. And honestly, I didn't know what to think. I thought to myself like, have I lost his interest? Have I just wasted the biggest opportunity of my life? Have I, have I messed this up? Because I, I knew full well that I'm not gonna get this opportunity again. And then Rio asked, can you show me the app? So with a cracked iPhone 6S in my hand, yes, it was a cracked screen, guys. Like I had no savings at this time. I just showed him what we built. I showed him the scheduling feature, the leaderboard, the training programs. Within about a minute, I was blown away with what he had to say next. And he said this, I want to be a part of this. This is what I'd give to my children. And bro, I walked out of that office like Will Smith. You know in Pursuit of Happiness when he just got that job and he achieved the impossible? Bro, that was me. That was me. I walked out of there after that meeting and I was like, This little part is called happiness. Because I was nobody. I didn't have any warm connects. I didn't have loads of money to offer. In fact, there was actually no money to offer up front. I just had this intuition, this gut feeling that this was the guy that could take things to the next level like Jay-Z was to Kanye or J. Cole. Mr. Rio gave his time and attention to bring Train Effective to the next echelon. 
We spent about three days filming together and in that time we released a motivational masterclass on the app called The Mentality of a Champions League Winner to actually a lot of press and credibility. We got features in Forbes and Give Me Sport and 442 and a lot of other publications. We got all over his socials, his Insta, his Facebook, his Twitter. And he did this all whilst rocking the train affected brown man. Like, bro, this just used to be a sketch in my, my notebook. And now <laughs> he was like fronting it. Nowadays, we have over 1 million users on the app. We have over 3 million people that follow us on social media. I mean, TikTok is just crazy. We're like the number one sports educational brand that there is on TikTok. This milestone with Rio was about two years after quitting my job, but really it was five years since I started Train Effective as like a side hustle, side project, just as a hobby. And it was 11 years since I built my first website. So, you know, it wasn't like I was a noob and didn't know what I was doing. This really took time and patience. That's why guys, whatever struggle you're going through, whatever dream that you have, fall in love with the process, keep your goals in sight, Keep following up with the people that you want as part of your dream, as your goals, your, your products, whatever you're, you're making, but fall in love with the process. And if you keep going and keep striving to make a better product every day, bring more value to people, then I, I promise you guys, just over time, whether it's in a day or in a week or a month or years down the line, keep doing that, you'll succeed. You will succeed. There's just, you're gonna do it. Like, just believe you're gonna do it and you're gonna do it. It just takes that patience. So be patient and it is only a matter of time. And if you guys want a follow up piece to this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, peace, subscribe and stay effective.